Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial in our data analysis series. I am Madhuri Jha, a DevOps specialist at Thinkmix Technologies. In this video, I have compiled few common steps to transform data using Pandas. Data transformation is a crucial step in the data pre-processing process where we change the structure or format of the data to make it suitable for analysis. Before moving forward, Let's discuss the agenda. In this session, we will cover what's data transformation, prerequisites for the demonstration, hands-on demos in Jupyter Notebook to transform data by adding, dropping rows or columns, use dot transform and dot apply functions, pivot tables and filter with dot ILOC or dot LOC functions, Normalize the data, join and merge data sets. And by the end of this video, you will have a good feel for how to do a variety of different sorts of transformations on your data using Pandas. What is data transformation? Data transformation is the process of converting data to a format or structure that fits the purpose of analysis. This can include various processes, but we will focus on a few key concepts such as adding or removing data, rows or columns, normalizing data to rescale it within a specific range, ensuring that each feature contributes equally to the analysis. This is crucial in machine learning as unnormalized data can lead to inaccurate results. Filtering, aggregating, merging, and joining data sets. This will prepare your data for processes such as applying machine learning, reporting, or even data visualization. Before moving further, let's discuss the prerequisites for the demonstration. For you to be able to follow along, ensure that you have the following installed. Python 3.9 and above, Pandas library, and if you don't have Pandas library installed in your PC, you can install using pip install Pandas, Jupyter Notebook, if not installed yet, install by pip install Notebook. After installation, you can start using Jupyter Notebook with the following command, type Jupyter space Notebook at the prompt. For further queries, you can visit our previous videos in data analysis series. CSV file as our source file for analysis. We will use the cleaned underscore data dot CSV file for the demonstration. The link to download the file will be available in the description box of this video. Let's get started with the demo. In the previous video, we had cleaned the CSV file Let's transform the data for a few of the common requirements. We will be loading the CSV file into a pandas data frame. It's like a table 2D structure in which we will put and manipulate our data. Need the clarity of the data frame? Visit our previous videos on data analysis video series on our Thinkmix channel. Link is shared in description box of this video. We will follow these steps to transform the data. Beginning with loading the CSV file and convert to data frame, then manipulate the data frame by adding and dropping columns, adding and dropping rows, using dot transform and dot apply, pivot table and filtering data with dot ILOC and dot LOC functions, normalize the data, Merge pivot table data to the original data frame. Finally, saving the transformed data to a new CSV file. Let's begin by reading the provided CSV file into a pandas data frame and glance through the data with the head function which will output 5 rows by default. Next, add a new column called bonus and set it by storing 10% of the salary. Bonus column got updated in the data frame. Next, drop the date of joining column by dot drop columns equal to date of joining 
print the updated data frame, columns can be dropped if not required in analysis. Check for the changes by viewing the updated data frame. There is no date of joining. Now we will add a new row. We are creating a dictionary called new underscore row. This is a new row that we like to append to the data frame. Every key in the dictionary corresponds to a column name, for example, name, department, age, salary, bonus. Here we make use of the dot append method that inserts the new data, new underscore row into the data frame df. The new underscore row dictionary appended as a new row in the data frame. Ignore index equal to true. The parameter will automatically assign a new index value to the new row's new index. Jackson's data is added as new row to the data frame. After you have learned adding row, let's learn to drop a row not required for analysis. The drop function here removes row from the data frame by passing index equal to df.index minus 1. You are instructing pandas to drop the last row from the data frame. Remember the negative indexing of Python. The last row will be deleted from the data frame. You can see Jackson's data has been deleted. Next, we will use the dot transform to work across the column salary. df.groupbyDepartment groups the data frame by the department column. Each unique department, example, marketing, HR, finance, will form its own group. Salary in single quote selects the salary column for the group data. Compute the average salary for each department. It's an error. As Python is case sensitive, in the similar way, Pandas is also case sensitive. Here, avj underscore salary all are in smaller case. So, we need to replace avj underscore capital S with avg underscore salary. Here it is. The dot transform function applies the mean function to each group department and returns a series with the same index as the original data frame multiplied by 1.05, effectively increasing each average salary by 5%. Assign the new series AVG underscore salary back into the salary column of the original data frame DF and print the updated data frame. Now it's time for dot apply function. Assign the output of dot apply method which will be a series of strings to a new column called age group in data frame df is equal to dot apply applies a function along a given axis of an array like in this case it is applying the function to each element of a series age lambda function here is an anonymous function that takes one argument age this function will then be applied on each value of the column age the expression senior, if age is greater than 40, else junior is called a conditional expression. A conditional expression is also called a ternary operator. It evaluates the condition if the age is greater than 40. If age is greater than 40 is true, then it returns the string senior. If age is greater than 40 is false, then it returns the string junior. Now let's move over to another function called pivot tables. Let's reshape our data using a pivot table on certain criteria. Assign a variable pivot underscore df to compute the average salary for each department age group combination. df dot pivot table function creates a pivot table that is to say data summarization tool. Values equal to salary says that we need to aggregate data in a pivot table coming from the salary column. Index equal to department will set the rows of the pivot table to index with the department column so that each unique department will produce one row in the resulting table. Columns equal to age group will set that the columns in the pivot table are based on the age group column. Each unique age group will create its own column in the resulting table. 
AGG FUNC equal to mean would imply that one wants to use the mean average as the aggregation function. Display pivot underscore df. And now filter rows and columns by dot iloc function. You can use dot iloc by index position to select data and use dot iloc to get the seventh row till end of data frame. And filter with dot loc by labels mentioned. Locate salary greater than 60,000 and update the filter data in the data frame. Normalize the salary column to range between 0 to 1. The max and min functions have been applied for scaling the salary column. This will scale the values of salary between 0 to 1, so the minimum salary becomes 0 and the maximum becomes 1. This is helpful in getting some similarities in data ranges while drawing conclusions on analysis. Later, update the data frame, you can find the normalized salary column filled within range 0 and 1. Merging the data. Let's merge the already present data frame with pivot underscore df data frame created from pivot table function. If you want to add the pivot table data back to df, you can reset the index by df dot reset index in place equal to true. DF dot merge pivot underscore df merges pivot underscore df data frame which contains the mean salary for each department and age group back into the original data frame df. The parameters on equal to department specifies the column to join on. In this case, it merges based on the department column that exists in both data frames. How equal to left indicates a left join meaning all rows from the df will be retained and matching rows from pivot underscore df will be added. And if there are no matches, NAN values will be added for the new columns. Suffixes equal to underscore mean signifies when both data frames has columns with the same name salary, it appends underscore mean to the columns coming from pivot underscore df. Columns from df remain unchanged. Print the updated data frame. Lastly, we will save the transformed data into a new CSV file with index equal to false. And to read the new CSV file, we can again use pd.read underscore CSV, but this time with the argument transformed underscore employ underscore data dot CSV. And here it is the final transformed data. In this tutorial, we went through skills using pandas for data transformation, starting from adding and dropping data to functions dot transform, dot apply, and pivot table, and ending with merging datasets. Learned about the importance of data transformation when preparing your data to perform analysis in order to extract insightful information from it. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe ThinkNix channel. Happy analyzing.